We are on. Can we worship the Lord today? He is worthy of our best. We get excited about so much. Let's get excited about Jesus.
Oh,
We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're still coming. And Lord, we believe right now in this house that you're coming and ministering. Dear God, as we worship you. Can you worship the Lord who came to us? Can you give him glory? He is still working today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Send that grace we just sang about, dear God. Send the light, dear God, who we just sang about. Send it, Jesus. We're here for you, Lord. Worthy is the Lord. Let's worship Him, church. It's all worship to Him. Even the Christmas carols are worship to Jesus. The King of Kings. Hallelujah. Glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord. says, a light has dawned. And I thank you today that in Logan County, where there's darkness, a light dawns. I thank you, dear God, that your light is in this little church in Russellville, Kentucky. And I thank you, Lord, that I believe in your grace and power. You're going to do everything you need to do today. Have your liberty, dear God. In every heart that's in this room, dear God, have your liberty. And shine down that light into them, dear God. Into the darkest corners and reveal what needs to be revealed. We ask, Lord God. We love you, Jesus. We worship you and we rejoice. We rejoice that you don't leave us in the dark. You send your light. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you worship him one more time? And can you give him praise one more time? He's so good. He's so good. Glory to you. Hallelujah. He is worth rejoicing for. He is worth blessing. He is worth our very best. Glory to you, Jesus. Whatever's wrong is worth it. He is worth it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's try to remember our blessings that we still have. Because it could just be just as easy as one of us to what's going on out there. Father, we know we are here for just a little bit of time. Yes. Whatever it might be, it's harder on the loved ones that's here than the people that goes home. Yes. Father, let us draw strength from this. Amen. You yes. know us the way, Father. Yes. Yes, Lord. As time draws closer to an end for each and every one, Father, just be with us and guide us and pull us closer to you, Father. Yes. Cover us with your feathers. Amen. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes. Thank we you. agree in Jesus. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. In these last days and this last hour, dear God, do it. Draw us to your precious name. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus. Praise Jesus. Indeed, the church. Amen. 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 He is worthy of our best. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, worship team. Thank you so much. We have a special from the, the uh, quartet today. So. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying, I love this song. And it says, Jesus will outshine them all. It doesn't matter who it is. Jesus is going to outshine every one of them. He's glorious. He's magnificent. Yes, he is. Um, he's just awesome. Yes, he is.
season of giving. He's given us, as we always like to say, he's given us our very best. <coughs> we have the ability to today, since we don't look at it as an obligation or anything of the sort, but just with joy, because God, the Bible says, so is that you're going to give Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Linda, would you pray for us as we hear you? Yes. Proceed. Father God, we thank you for meeting our needs like you always do. You never fail. You know our needs before we even ask. You know what we need and you're always there. Your word says you'll open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. There's so much that we can't contain it. When we put our trust in you and walk in you, your ways and in your commandments, Lord, you never fail. We thank you, Lord, with all of our heart that you're always there. We can depend on you. Father, take this now and bless it, Lord, and multiply it. Bless those who give and those who cannot give. Father, we pray these things in your blessed holy name. Amen. 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 God bless you as you give in Jesus' name. Oh, 
Ross and the house and it's for us here for the system. I did want to say thanks to everybody who's working on the dinner today. Appreciate it. We've got some good things coming for us. And just uh, uh, rejoice. If there are any guests here, let them go first. And uh, we do have some guests of honor here. And I'll let, uh, I didn't see where Shelly went, but we'll let Shelly kind of handle that and maybe kind of make sure that our guests of honor get served first as well. So but we do appreciate all the work today. Um, we did want to remind us, so here's how I'd like to do this for us today. We're going to have, we're going to dismiss, have the dinner, kind of have a nice time of fellowship, and I'm going to be in too big, in too big a hurry. But then as things wind down, for those that are able, uh, if you need to help stay with the, the washing up and cleaning up, please do. That's, that's a ministry too. But for those that are able, we wanted to go and do a little bit of uh, sharing the Christmas with the nursing home and all over. So we're going to go out, go over there. If you need a ride, I'm happy to give a ride. Or anybody else is too. Uh, we'll head over to the Auburn Nursing Home and do some care for them. We've got some gifts to share too. Um, but um, and why do we do that? I believe it's good. It doesn't. It isn't good for what God's doing to stay with us. I believe it's good to share. And so that's why we do things like this to share. The ministry. So if you're able, we invite you to come with us and do a little caroling, and then we will not have service back here tonight. We will not be here tonight at 6, so please keep that in mind. Uh, we did uh, let us know what's coming up ahead for us. Uh, next Sunday, Brother Gary. Brother Gary will be sharing with us, and we're looking forward to that on the 17th. Uh, the evening service that time, we're going to do a little bit of a, for a movie, our movie. So it'll be a Christmas movie called The Nativity that we're going to show. And so we wanted to give an opportunity uh, for that. And so Sister Ruth's going to work on that and have some snacks and different things together for it. So for those that are willing, we're going we're to do a little bit of that on the 17th. Uh, the 20th, our brother is going to share. Terry, if you're still good with that. And so we're, we have him be sharing that Wednesday evening. We'll have a special service on Christmas Eve. Uh, we will not have evening service, but for the morning service. And then the 31st is of his Sunday, so we plan on of his Sunday singing. So we're going to work on that. And Brother Woody will be working on that as he is able. So we have a lot of good things we're looking forward to. And I praise God. And I know in all the busyness, sometimes we can lose it. But I'm thankful that he, he is good. And I'm thankful he shines forth even in those times that sometimes we get a little bit overwhelmed. I'll talk about that in just a minute for us here. Praise the Lord. If there is a way that we have, I'll say this to you. If there's a way we have to find to give the, to the tornado victims, we may give an opportunity for that as well. With it, we generally try to do that through our church, the assemblies, and they have ways that they do that. So we will get back with you just as soon as we can. On a way to give. All right. His word is a good is good food today. Amen. You're going to get some good food here in just a minute. You know that. But his word is really good food. Yeah, today. Exactly. Let's, let's eat and, and devour his word today that he has for us. Uh, Isaiah chapter nine. Isaiah chapter 9. You can, if you want to stand, you can. But... Did you have something, Aaron? Are we, are we doing communion today? No, we are not. Oh, we are not doing communion. Actually, we probably need to move those, but we'll get that. We'll take care of that. But we will, we will not do that today. So, all right. Call this today the names of Jesus. This is a familiar passage for those that uh, know about the Christmas passages, and we're going to read this. And I'm thankful today that as names are important, God has given us some good names for himself. Let's learn these names. Let's, let's dig a little bit into his word today on the names of Jesus. The Bible says this, Isaiah 9, 6, and verse 7, Sister Jack. I figured out why we have that big box back there now. It's so that she can kind of monitor us and keep us uh, straight back there. So, <laughs> yeah, we appreciate Sister Kay. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called. You can read these with me if you can. Wonderful, Wonderful. Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And verse 7 for us. Hallelujah. All these are for our Savior Jesus. Precious. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the 
Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. Amen. Pray we pray. Amen. Father God, we ask that your word be blessed into our hearts and lives. We are totally dependent on you. I cannot do what needs to be done today, nor can anyone else, because we need you to do through us today, through your word, to speak for And we ask these things in Jesus' name. And we see if you like those coming in, come on in and back to the Always glad, always glad that you're here. I did want to say this because I don't want to neglect this. We do have a lot of thank yous. A lot of people, if you notice, we have a nice little ramp out there. And so we appreciate the work that happened on that. Uh, our brother, I think, had quite a bit to do with it. Our other brother, they had quite a bit. Uh, appreciate it, man. Uh, they pointed each other. They are modest, but we do appreciate our brothers working on that. They they continue to do work on the lights out there, and appreciate the sisters. They, if you can see, the church has been decorated very nicely. So all the sisters have worked on this, the Christmas tree, and we just appreciate the folks that have done the work. God is good. He it's good to, to see the work of the Lord go forward. We just appreciate it in all the different ways that it does. So if I, I missed anybody, forgive me, but we appreciate you. All right. You know, a name tells us a lot about a person. You know, that it very well uh, it, it can have truly a lot of meaning. I want to tell a story that something about a, a case that this is true that I know. So there was a husband and wife, and they had a little daughter. And the little daughter they had, and, uh, she was there, and they, they were a nice, happy family. They wanted to actually have more kids and couldn't for a long, long time long time that that uh, didn't take place and so finally mom was pregnant mom finally got pregnant and uh, there had been some trouble with that before some miscarriage and different things but finally she was pregnant and they revealed you know so what do you name the child because you kind of wonder what you need to name that child and so both the dad and the mom felt very strongly you remember the story of Zachariah where he got it you need to name your kid John you remember that story in the Bible it was almost a kind of a case like this. They said, you need to name, I want to make sure I get my, go to my notes, I don't miss anything. You need to name your son the Hebrew for the word gift. The Hebrew for the word gift. And I don't think that the Lord, that, that they got that by accident because I truly believe that this little boy that was to be born need, needed to be a gift to everyone. And so that the, the Hebrew for gift, you may not know what that is, but that name is Nathan. And that is a little bit of my story about how I was born. And I, I truly pray today that I will be a gift. It's a good thing my parents are not here today. Um, uh, and I miss them very much. But I'm thankful today that I had parents that were willing to listen to the Lord. Amen. And, I, and I'm proud to bear that name because I truly believe I am to be a gift to all of you and to whoever the Lord has called me to. And I said that to say this. I believe there is a significance in the names that we, we see and they're out there. I believe there's a significance in the names of Jesus. Because more than any other name that anyone carries, the name of Jesus is the name that's the most important. The names we need to know about him are precious to us. And they will teach us great things that we need to know. And so I, I encourage us, as we dig in, before we get in and dig in back there, uh, we got some good stuff coming back there, but let's dig in here. And, and see what he would say through his names. This Christmas we've been given a gift. And as much as, as hard as it is for me to admit it, without instruction, sometimes a gift can be useless. Do you know that? Amen. Us guys throw away the instructions and, and try to do it on our own. Sometimes we need it. We need the instructions. We have good instructions right here. Good instructions that we can receive. And so I encourage us that we, we know his name. And, and know the names that will change the world. Now let's talk about these here. Let's talk about these here. So, the Bible tells us in Isaiah chapter 9, in verse 6. You go back to verse 6 for us here. When Jesus was born, it says that he had these names. It says he shall be called Wonderful. Can you just say that with me? Wonderful. Wonderful. We serve a wonderful Savior. And when we have this word wonderful that comes. We can think of a lot of different things. I got the chance to eat at a nice restaurant with my wife. I like chocolate pecan pie. Does anybody like that? Anybody like the dessert? I thought that was wonderful, right? That would probably have been the word, oh, it was nice and warm. Oh, it was good. I, I just like it. Some, some of y'all might not like nuts or whatever, but oh, I loved it. It was wonderful to me. But you know what? That's not what that's talking about right here. You know that? 
when it uses the word wonderful in this passage, what it's saying is, only is this word ever used with the works of God. And so wonderful here is what God does. And so I want to submit to us today that God has done wonderful things. And he, he wants to do more wonderful things in your life and in mine. The name of Jesus brings about wonder. And I'm thankful for that today. It isn't used of human work. He is the one that gives the wonderful gifts. Today, I believe we're with, in our number, there are people that need something wonderful. They need a miracle. Can I say that again? I believe in our group right here where we are, there are miracles that need to be done. You and I need something wonderful. There's a lot of people that have been affected by these storms. They need something wonderful, if you will. They need a wonder, the wonders of God to come into their situation. They need that. But we serve a God who is able to do that. That he doesn't leave us where we are, but he, he comes in and brings wonderful gifts with him. And my encouragement for us today is we get discouraged and we don't seek him. Seek him today. Go after God. Go after the wonders that he has. Because he is wonderful to do it if we will seek his face and come to him. And I, I encourage us here, not only for the, the things, but you know the greatest gift that he gives that's wonderful to us? His precious presence. Who he is coming in in a place and ministering to us where we are. He doesn't just work on the outside of the things. You know, we think about all the things that have been lost, you know, and I'm just thinking about these ones, think about the things that are lost. But it really isn't the things that are the most important. It's what's in here. It's his presence. And I want to tell us today, if his wonderful presence is there, it doesn't matter what we have or don't have. I encourage us today, we need to have his wonderful presence more. And I pray if you haven't experienced that, that you will experience that. More than anything else that you get this time, I pray that you experience the wonder of just knowing Jesus in your heart, knowing who he is and, and, and how precious he is to minister. Because, and if you have experienced that presence, don't take that wonder for granted. There's a lot of people in a lot of countries they would love for a moment to have what we have and they've never experienced. They never had it because they don't know anything about Jesus. They know nothing. And Lord help them, but Lord help us not to take for granted the wonder that we have been given. And I encourage us today, more than, than, than so much else, may we invite his wonderful presence oh, into our lives. Yes. Wonder. Yes. His wonder. Let's keep going here. Wonderful, he is the counselor today. I'm thankful today that Jesus has all wisdom, but he is willing to come to us, to come to where we are. Just as he did as a baby, he's willing to come to us where we are and minister to us right. in our hearts right where we need it. Yeah. The Bible says, it talks about it, even more than it was then, this is the last hour. The time is getting close, y'all. You know, right? It is. And I, you know, we go through things. I, I don't know what else we're going to go through. You and I need a counselor. You and I need somebody to come to us. And I, I encourage us. Let's not hold it in because there's, there's a lot that's happening. You and I need somebody that's going to be able to minister with us and, and, and to, to touch us deep down. But you see, a, you know, counselor, we can define that in a lot of different ways. But I'm thankful we can, that the Lord is good in this way. You ever had somebody counsel with you? They've been there thinking, oh, we're jumping right in. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably all over the place. I'm always <laughs> out there right. on the Facebook. Brother Terry's going to take care of me now. So, for us, um, I, I just encourage us, the counseling isn't something that has to be super complicated, but for us today, I'm thankful that he is the Lord who hears and listens. You know, I've had people counsel with me, I hope you have too, but one of the things that I found precious, they didn't have to have all the, the technical jargon or no Sigmund Freud or whatever it is. I just, I, there's a fellow in Bowling Green I talked to, and the beautiful thing is, he listens. That is a gift. You know that? He listens. And so right. there's a minor point here that it kind of, it's good to have a, uh, to be a listener. Uh, but if you could put up that verse, sister, in 1 John for us, I do remind us today that we serve the great listener. Amen. We Amen. serve the great listener. The Bible says it this way. Now, this is the confidence, confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears, hears us. us. He's listening. Oh, he's listening today to you. Whatever you've got to say, as we do it according to his will and hang in with him, he hears us. He is the God who listens to us. Be encouraged today if we, if we need a counselor. I, I, I'm thankful today that we can tell it to him. When nobody else is there, 
When everybody else is gone, you have a counselor. They you have somebody who cares about you. That's right. Amen. His name is Jesus. He cares. Listen to him for his guidance. He wants to guide you. Even in the hustle and bustle, he has something to say to you. Let's listen to him as our counselor today. Amen. He is our counselor. We'll go back to chapter 9 and verse 6. The Bible says here, he is the mighty God and everlasting Father. And so we, we believe this little doctrine here. We believe in the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe those three are one. And we believe that Jesus, when he came here, he wasn't partly God or just a good man. He is fully the King of Kings, the mighty God, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. That's Jesus. That's who he is. That's what he calls him here. Every bit of God is the Father. He is. He is God. Just as I, I put it this way, uh, I bear the name Cockrell just as much as, as my dad does. And because I'm a Cockrell too. And just in every way, he bears that, that name of the Almighty God. And we're thankful for that. And I, I want to remind us that in the Christmas story, we often celebrate the fact that Jesus came as a baby. Right? He came as that little baby and he came meek and mild. And that is true. That is true. But I do want to remind us that he, he is coming back again. And he is coming back. If you read Revelation 19, I didn't put those verses in here. But we, we serve a Savior. He is the mighty God. He is riding back now on that white horse. And he is called faithful and true. And it says there's a name on him, on his thigh. It says this, King of King Kings King. and the Lord of Lords. Man. That's Jesus. Yes. He is the king. So yes, he came as that baby, but he's coming again as king oh, of kings yes. and lord of lords. And never forget yes, that. He is. he is the king, and we need to put him as king. Oh, we need to have the fear of God in us. And I, I'm almost, I was just about to get ahead of myself, but I think I'm going to wait and talk about that in just a second. But Lord, help us to have the fear of God oh, yes. in, our, in us, because that fear is, is what we need as, as a nation and as a world. That all being said, the eternal and powerful God is He, but also He comes as a loving Father. Amen. He is a, yes. is a loving Father. And so I, I'm thankful, and, and if you have that testimony too, it's good to have dads that show kids the way. Yes. Israel, the nation, just, they needed that. They desperately needed that in Isaiah's day from when we're reading. But Jesus today, I'm thankful, He gives us, as a Father, guidance through His Word. And this word is precious. And they, in the time that we're living in right now, when it's so busy and we neglect it, may we not neglect what it says in this book. May we put it into us. May, you, may we find the time, wherever we are, find the time to dig into the Bible and sit, see what it has to say. Amen. Because it will, it will bless you. Yes. It will bless you. And you want to, I tell you what, you're going to want to read more. It's going to, it's going to be good food for you better than anything you're going to get out there. Better than anything right. you're going to get over the holidays. You, right. will be, you will be fed. And you're going to want more. You're going to want more. So, uh, we did have my, my mother-in-law, if you, you know, she uh, is Korean, and I'll, I'll tell this little story. Uh, sometimes we don't always get the food that we like. But she fixes sometimes through the week lunches for my uh, wife and me, and so she ran out of sandwich meat. She gave me all the sandwich meat, and I feel bad about this. And so she had to come up with something for my wife for her lunch. And so she had the idea, and she now she does the Korean food, mind you, but this is her idea for my wife was cheese and jam, cheese and jelly jam sandwiches. And so she she packed that and she said, leave that out and 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 don't put it in the refrigerator. And so my wife didn't know what it was, and she opened it up, and it was nasty cheese and jam. And so that was it was pretty nasty. And so that, that we didn't have that. We don't have that back for you here today. I'm not all to fix that for you today. But I, I, I tell you what, you're going to get some food out there. It doesn't matter what it is uh, in the physical. You're going to get some. If you try to take nourishment from the world, you're going to get some bad stuff. Yes. But when you read that book that I hope you have with you, and uh, if you don't have one, we'd be glad to get you one. We've got, we got plenty of Bibles if you need one. Good Bibles. If you read that book, you're not going to go hungry. You're not going to. You're not going to have bad, bad eat there. You're going to have the good stuff served you all the time. Yeah. I, I cannot. We don't want to neglect ever to say how much the word of God is precious. And the reason I say that here is, He is a Father who gives His kids the very best. Yeah. Yeah. He gives yeah. us good yeah. things to eat. So dig into His word today. Right. Let's get to know Him. All right. Get to know our Father. Early fathers should want to know their kids. I encourage you. Can you get to know your Father this time? You need. 
need Amen. Amen. We need to. Amen. Oh, yeah. He is also, the Bible says here in the last part of this verse, he is the Prince of Peace. The Prince of Peace. Oh, yes, he is. The Bible tells us that, that um, he, he is a giver of that peace that passes all understanding. Judah, the nation that was actually being, being talked to here in Isaiah, they desperately needed peace in troubled times. But not really just the peace from war. They had a lot of battles and issues going on. They didn't just need that, though. They needed that peace in here. That's where the real battle is inside. And I'm thankful that we have a, we have a prince who gives us that peace. Sometimes we have to fight. Amen. We appreciate those that step up, step into the fight. We appreciate those that, that serve. One man said this, a soldier's pack is not so heavy as a prisoner's chains. Mm. It's true. There's a, there's a fighting that has to happen for us. And I believe that there is also a time that he brings that peace to our hearts. Because you see, the peace that, that needs to come in our hearts, we can't really fight for it in here. He's already fought for it. You see, Jesus, I never want us to forget. If you're struggling with peace this time, cling to that old rugged cross. Oh, yeah. oh cling to that cross, y'all, because I tell you, he gives that peace to the cross. And I, I encourage us, look to the cross in your time of need. Mm -hmm. And give that, give that to him because he is the, the child that was given for us, but also he is that prince of peace. He is that prince of peace. And so what I, and I want to emphasize the part prince. Not only does he give us peace, he has the ability to enforce that. Because he is the, he is the royalty, y'all. He is the royalty. And through, uh, through him, we can have that same gift. You know what the This is not my notes, but we'll say this anyway. You know what the Bible says we are with Jesus? Joint heirs. What we get from him, it's we get, y'all. What we, the peace that he, he, had, you know, he has, we can have. That's right. You were able to have that peace because of the Prince of Peace. You were able to have that. And I, I encourage us. Don't let anyone or anything tell you differently. But I do want to say this. Can you put up that verse in Jeremiah for us? I do want to say this for us and remind us here. Because you see, I don't want to be somebody that tells you there's peace when there really isn't. I use a little different translation for this here, but it says this. Um, he's talking about the leaders, people like me. And it says, they have treated my people's brokenness superficially. In other words, just on the surface. Claiming peace, peace, when there is no. So I want to remind us today that so, so many times, if we're not careful, we can pronounce peace when it really isn't there. Because outside of Jesus, you can't have lasting peace. Yeah, right. it, can't, right. it can't happen. It has, to, it has to be through Jesus. So I want to say to anybody that's listening to me, truly to see what we're talking about today, truly to have the, the, all the good Christmas stuff, you got to repent. Can I say that again? Yeah. There, must, there must, there must be repentance. Yeah. And what that means yeah. is, we're going one way, and you say, Lord, I'm sorry. We turn around, and we go the other way toward the cross, right toward where he needs us to go. Repentance, y'all. Because I, I don't want to say that for you or for me or anyone if there isn't there. Lord, help us to have a heart that says, I'm going to go after him. Yes, I'm going to go after you. And then when you do, oh, all the promises, the joint air, all that other stuff is for you. And for yeah. Then that, that's for us. And I want to say this, too, for our nation. We need to pray for our nation because... Uh, this is a little outside, again, a little outside, but, you know, we can say peace, peace, and have all the good words, but, Lord, well, we've got to repent as a nation. We have to see that repentance. Oh, yeah. I can't look and say, you know, that, hey, our nation's going to last. We've been really blessed, y'all. We've been really given a lot, but I can't look and say that that's going to continue unless there's repentance. Like Daniel the prophet, you and I need to pray for this country. I don't know. This is not really outside the scope of what I need to do as a pastor today. But if you look, I could probably rattle off you about half a dozen ways the world can go really south and you could lose a lot of peace uh, in this country, the United States of America. I think there's a lot of ways that things can go south really quick. And I want to say that we saw one with the pandemic, right? We can see others. My point in saying that is he is the Prince of Peace, but we have to turn to him and pray that the others will too. Have that repentance. Pray, don't, don't let it just be for us this time because it is the season for others. Pray for this nation. Pray that the Lord will not leave us where we are and we will see repentance because he wants to do that. He does have peace. He is the Prince of Peace, but we don't want to take that for granted. All right. Let's keep going. Here just a little further. Verse 7. Verse 7. I'm thankful that he is, a, he is the king. Jesus is who gives justice. You ever, you ever watch the judge shows, Judge Judy? You ever watch Judge Judy or the other judges yeah. out there? I don't know where they come up with those cases. Some of those cases are pretty insane. Pretty insane. 
But if you ever watch Judge Judy in particular, she thinks she knows it all, doesn't she? And sometimes she can be pretty, pretty intelligent, pretty smart and judge there. But I, I tell you what, there's rarely a piece on that show. Did you right. know that or any of those shows? But uh, he had, that's not the judge bringing peace here. But I'm glad if you read this here, when he is judged, when we serve the Lord Jesus and when we let him reign, and in the end, whether we do or not, he's going to come here and he's going to bring his peace and his government is going to be no end. I'm thankful you serve a God that it, things will work out in the end. If you wait, you hang in there with Jesus. If you give it all to Him, it may be a long time coming. You may have to be patient, but I, I will say this: promise through Your Word, You will have that peace come. It will come to you. It will. It will come in its time. It will not delay. It will come. So I remind us today that we serve a God who, who is able through His government, through His strength, to bring that peace and through His justice. All right. Let him bring that peace in one of the most impossible times, that, the, the impossible times that we live in today. I'm thankful that we don't have to seek his peace through any other means today, but we can have that peace through him. Um, I'm thankful for his presence. When I hurt my back out here, I'll, I'll say this. Um, I was hopeful that they would give some something that would help my pain. And I went over here to Logan Memorial Hospital, right over here, they Oh, I haven't hurt my back at one of the worst times because it took them forever to get through the traffic. You know, I, you, you know that line over by the cemetery, uh, by the, the Casey's and all that rust move? You can't, you can't turn left there because there's a turning lane. So you have to sit there and sit there. And I was hurt. My back was hurting. And, you, and I turned and finally got to the hospital. And they, they, they kind of worked through They finally gave me some, some stuff. And I'm like, whoa, I went out into space. I didn't hurt anymore. You know that? You ever been there? You, had, you took something? Whoa. I went out in space then, but I tell you what, you always come back down, and that pain comes back again. Right. You know, the peace that we're talking about here, it can't come from anything like that. And they gave me some, I know they gave me some powerful stuff because I was hurting. But I, I, I found out this, that I'm thankful that I serve a God. His presence is real even when I was hurting and needing right. peace. And so I encourage us, when nothing else will do, I, I encourage His peace will do. And I'll tell this story again if you hadn't heard it. I was sitting in a chair, and they, uh, you know, I, I'd come out of the hospital from my back, and the drugs had kind of worn off. And I knew if I took any more of that stuff, it wasn't going to be. It, it, I took some of that stuff, and it, it messed my head up like crazy. I, 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 I was, it was so dark, and it was, I, I think I was, it was almost like I was seeing demons because I was taking all that stuff. So I, had to, I couldn't take any more of that, but I was still hurting. You ever, so I was sitting in this straight back chair because my back, I couldn't, I couldn't really do anything else because I had a big brace on it. I was sitting like this, and it's like, Lord, I hurt. I hurt. I need you. You know what? I cannot describe to you the peace that came to me when I was right there, the healing that came to me. I still had a ways to go to get back up to where I could stand up, up here and talk. Because I, I was preaching here then. It took a while, but I could not describe to you the peace that was there. Then. It's real. It's real. He is the Prince of Peace, and he is able to do that. If you come into this house today, if you're watching this today and you don't have peace, I remind us today, he is still God. He is still God and he is still able to give that peace that you need. And say, can you just say the name Jesus with me? Jesus. Jesus. Even in that name, even in pronouncing these names that we read today, he can send that good. It's if we come to him. So don't stop, don't stop. Keep coming to the altar. Keep getting prayer. Don't let it, don't let it, 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 it thwart you because all oh, I've done that before and nothing happened. I remind us today, there is a peace that when we come to, to, to the, the Prince of Peace, when we come to Him and believe. All right. The Bible says in the last part of this verse, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. And, and what does that mean? Well, there's one more name here. Can you read, can you say this one? The Lord of hosts. Lord of hosts. That doesn't have a lot of meaning in English. But what that means is you serve a God today. You serve a Savior Jesus who the angels, legions and legions, hosts. Hosts is like a word for big group, big group. Thousands and thousands of angels are ready to come just like that. Now I'm thankful today. I'm thankful today that whatever we're going through, I believe he gives us the strength and the zeal to keep on going. Why? Because the angel armies are backing him up and are backing us up. Amen. I believe there's angels ready to come and to That's minister. Right. As we turn to him in repentance, as we turn to him with our very best, that zeal will come to us. And I believe through us, 
Sometimes it's hard to round up help for us uh, in the natural. But I'm thankful that you have an army ready to help you and bring what you need today. Yes. Amen. If I could call some of the brothers up to, to come and maybe if, if y'all want to come up and, and do something. If you don't, it's a, would y'all rather nod or <laughs> y'all want to come up strum a little bit for us? Worship with us here. I pray that the Lord will give us a zeal even this place today for him and for his name. That we will not in any way be ashamed or lack any, any faith in the name of Jesus today because that name is powerful. That name is powerful. And I want to pray for us. Whatever the needs are, you serve a, a, a Savior in his name. Hallelujah. Can you come to the Lord in prayer with me? Holy Spirit, please come and work and do what we can do in this place. Please come and do what we can do. That, Lord, through your precious name, that, Lord, you will have liberty in hearts and lives. Jesus. 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 We come in that name believing for good. We come in this name believing for great things. Thank you, Jesus. I do want to say this for anyone that's listening. The Bible promises us this. When we call on his name, we will be saved. The name that is able to save us, Jesus. Jesus. If there's anyone here that needs to make it right with Jesus, this is the day to do it. We can't say peace is going to even be there tomorrow. But we say that we have, that we have today. We have today to make it right. Thank you, Jesus. There's anyone that needs it that doesn't know. I need the name of Jesus. I need the good things that he has and not what I'm giving myself. Not the mess I put myself in. I need to give it to him. I'm just not sure. Maybe done it in the past. But you, you're just not sure where you are today. I just like to ask with heads bowed. Would you say, I need Jesus. I need the name of Jesus today to change me. Is there anyone here that would say that? for anyone online that needs to receive this, that Lord, they will confess the name of Jesus and believe in their heart and that Lord, they will be saved and changed. Oh, they will have that confidence. Their name is written in the book of life and they're going to go when you call. When you step down on that white horse, when you call in the clouds for God, we're going to be right there. We're going to be right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Jesus. There's some today that need a wonderful miracle. There's some today that need a counselor. There's some that need today the Prince of Peace. There's some that need all these names. And some that maybe just need one. <coughs> Can you bring the, the name of Jesus that you need to? Hallelujah. If I could ask for, if we could maybe not sing with lyrics just right now. Y'all could you just play for us for the time for just this moment. Can you come to Jesus right now? Can you just come to him and say, Lord, I need a counselor. I need the wonderful God, the mighty Father, the everlasting Father, the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. I need that for my family. I need that for my life right now. I need that for my body right now. Can you just come and pray? If you need to come to the altar and pray that, that's, they're always open. Remind you of that now. Thank you, Jesus. Can you say this with me? Can you put up verse 6 again, sister? Can you put up verse 6 again? If you need to read these with me. Can you just say these names with us? He is wonderful. He is wonderful. Can you say this with me? Wonderful. wonderful. Counselor. Counselor. Mighty God. Mighty God. Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Prince of Peace. Can you pray that right now over your situation? 
Can you pray those names over the situation? Lord, you are a prince of peace over my heart. Lord, you are my counselor when I need someone to hear me. Can you pray that right now? Oh, Jesus. Prince of peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. stand in the house. Could you stand and you put that song back up if you want to if you don't want to sing. If you need somebody to pray with you and agree with you to the Prince of Peace, the mighty God, come on down. We'd love to agree with you and anoint you. If you need prayer, he's here. He is the God who is here. Jesus is here. Go ahead and sing it if y'all want to. Sisters, if I could agree with our sister here, or brothers, either one.
to speak to it more in just a few minutes. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. So just a reminder, please enjoy the food. Uh, Bill Carroll with us. We love it. No service tonight. He is a good God. We, we show the love today. Uh, if he is love, God is love, right? Can you show the love today as, as we do this as we get ready to protect? For those on the internet, we love you. And we're looking forward to seeing you real soon next time. God bless you from Christian Hall